If you're looking for the best indoor TV antennas 2024, well, you're in the right place. We've dug deep and conducted extensive research, and now we're breaking down the absolute best indoor TV antennas 2024. We're talking about the perfect balance between price and performance, tailored for different scenarios. If you're eager to find out which suits you best, don't go anywhere. Stick around till the end, because we've got all the links for the best prices in the description below. No specific order, just the top contenders in the game. Ready to dive into the world of best indoor TV antennas 2024? Let's get started! Number 5. Antop HD Smart Bar AT500 SBS If you live far from a broadcast source and or you've had trouble with other antennas, the Antop HD Smart Bar AT500 SBS could solve your issues if you're willing to pay a steep price and tolerate the very large size. The Antop HD Smart Bar is a hard plastic antenna that measures 2.5 feet wide and can be mounted on your wall like a soundbar or you can use the included base stand to prop it up vertically. In any case, it's much more visible than nearly any other indoor antenna on the market, but the trade-off is a much longer promised range of 80 miles. It also has a 4G signal filter, an FM tuner, and the ability to connect to a second TV. Plus, the reception was excellent in our testing. However, with a $119 price tag, we recommend trying cheaper alternatives first to see if they'll meet your needs. Antenna design is a pretty thoroughly understood art. Size and number of elements, the rods visible on old-fashioned roof antennas, are the important variables. So shoppers should accept that performance variations will be small among similar size and format models. The Antop Smart Bar AT500 SBS offers about as much station pulling power as you can expect from an indoor antenna at the cost of size and price, with an extreme range of 70 miles or a bit more with ideal location and setup. A built-in RF amplifier and clever setup app sweeten the deal. Number 4. Mohu Leaf Supreme Pro The Mohu Leaf Supreme Pro Amplified Indoor TV Antenna is, in many respects, very good at its job. A 15 dB amplifier helps pull in a dozen or more channels that load up fast and don't have much noticeable artifacts or pixelation. Its wide design, although a bit unwieldy and not the most eye-catching, is effective and simple to set up too. Like most good tools though, the Mohu Leaf Supreme Pro does cost more than the average HD antenna that should only set you back between $20 and $30 and may not always offer a significantly improved experience for those of us who already live close to broadcasting stations. Overall, however, folks who live 30 to 45 miles out of town should certainly consider it as a great alternative to the cheaper and weaker models out there. When it comes to antenna performance, the phrase, your mileage may vary, is literal. It all comes down to how far outside of town you live. For us, right outside the Buffalo metro area, we were able to pull in about 54 digital channels, many of which actually worked and loaded quickly. Many of these channels were coming in at sub-HD resolutions, but the primary stations, NBC, ABC, CBS, worked as they should. The Mohu Leaf Supreme Pro delivers a stable connection for all your local channels to folks who live just outside of town. It's not the ideal solution for folks who live far out in the country and the price tag is higher than some competitors, but the performance is worth it if you're looking for a solution to watch the big game without a cable subscription. Number 3. WineGuard FlatWave Amped Pro TH3000 WineGuard's FlatWave Amped Pro TH3000 antenna offers good performance and uses an effective app for initial setup that shows you real-world reception potential prior to installation. The TH3000's fully flat zero footprint on window on wall design will appeal to the decor conscious, and it can be relied upon to pull in digital TV stations from as far off as 60 miles. You can find antennas offering similar performance for less, but they are likely to be bulkier and less easily hidden from sight. Winegard claims a 60 mile range for the Flatwave Amped Pro, which was fairly in line with my results. My semi rural hilltop test location enjoys a good elevation, almost 360 degree line of sight to transmitters ranging from about 15 to about 70 miles, distributed in all directions. With the TH3000 panel mounted in a south-facing window, my Sony set tuned nine main carriers for about 33 total stations, digital sub-channels, the most distant being a strong signal a bit more than 70 miles distant and located almost due south. 
With its ability to be easily hidden, WineGuard's FlatWave Amped Pro is a good choice for viewers who don't want to see their antenna while reaping its benefits. In this case, that will mean good reception from stations up to 60 miles away, and WineGuard's app-based setup lets you optimize antenna positioning prior to final installation. Number 2. Mohu Arc Mohu's Arc indoor antenna is easy to set up, fairly compact, and nice looking enough to blend with a range of decors. Its clip-on bracket allows wall mounting or tabletop use, though the latter arrangement is a bit tippy. The Arc's construction could be more robust and its clip-in installation could be better. But despite its compact format and passive, unamplified design, we encountered impressive signal pulling performance. Note that the Arc is not amplified, so if you need to extend its feed to a more distant TV set, an amplified model like Mohu's own Arc Pro is likely a better bet. But for a simple installation in an urban or suburban locale of reasonable terrain and elevation with desired signals in multiple directions, within the range of, say, 40 miles or even a bit more, the Arc should be an effective choice. Mohu's 40-mile rating seemed fairly accurate at my semi-rural hilltop test location, which enjoys good elevation and clear line of sight over nearly 360 degrees to TV transmitters ranging from about 15 to about 70 miles, scattered in all directions. With the Arc located in a south-facing second-story window, the antenna tuned 11 main carriers with around 44 total sub-channels. For comparison, an inside-the-attic rooftop-type antenna at the same location pulls 15 carriers and almost 70 total sub-channels. Mohu claims the Arc to be multi-directional, no aiming necessary, and indeed, at the test location, it usefully tuned stations from all points of the compass as do most antennas, depending on broadcast signal power. Number 1. Antennas Direct Clear Stream Flex For a mid-price antenna that delivers rock-solid HD channels within its 50-mile radius, your search stops here. The trade-off is that it's not exactly a small unit. That big, thin panel could cover most of a window. But if that's not a problem, then it's great value and our pick for the best overall indoor antenna. In our testing, we found that it pulled in 48 channels, where more expensive and powerful antennas could receive 54 channels. But in terms of the picture quality and stability of the channels it did receive, including the HD ones, many of them were in just as good quality as more powerful options provide. That's helped partly by the inline amplifier, which you can switch on and off at will. The 12-foot coaxial cable is a decent length, you can get a bit longer out of the box from some other options, but this will probably cover most people. Setup is easy, partly thanks to the free Antenna Point app, which tells you where cable stations are located, so you can point your antenna in the right direction to pick up the most stations. The Antenna's Direct Clearstream Flex Indoor Antenna offers rock-solid 50-mile radius reception for local digital channels at a lower price than some of its competitors. It's not very compact, and you may not be able to grab as many channels as you could with more powerful models, but if you're relatively close to town, the Clearstream Flex should be more than enough for you.